we have been cordially invited um, for a Bridgerton inspired picnic um, by the ladies of the town um, so I thought it would be so much fun to share with you um, what I have for our picnic um, for our Bridgerton inspired picnic um, we've been invited by the lovely ladies of the town um, to visit the Duke and the Prince um, and to accompany us having a wonderful picnic with the ladies of the town um, in London uh, so I'm so excited um, we will leave on Sunday that's when our carriage um, will go to London uh, to see the ladies of the town and to have a lovely picnic together um, all the ladies um, asked me if I wanted to bring some um, lovely little things for our picnic um, so I have some uh, cute little things that I'm bringing um, they are bringing some things as well uh, so we divided it e evenly um, and I thought it would be so much fun to share with you what I'm bringing to our Bridgerton inspired picnic um, while gossiping with the ladies of the town um, the first thing that I'm bringing are these cookies um, these are the most adorable teapot cookies um, they really remind me of Bridgerton um, they are so adorable they're specially made for a lovely picnic with our lovely ladies I love the details with the green and the little floral these cookies are so beautifully made um, and I really hope that the ladies of the town will enjoy these cookies that I have made um, I'm also going to bring some refreshments um, I have my favorite Prink Prosecco drink I think being in the sun while having a picnic and having all the uh, men around um, we really need a little refreshment uh, so I've brought my favorite Prosecco drink I love the little bottle it's really pretty, I love the pink um, and I hope that the ladies of the town will enjoy these little refreshments as well um, there's also pink, also some pink lemonade there too um, but yeah, if you want uh, to uh, be a little bit more daring um, and speak a little bit more with the gentleman there um, a little bit of Prosecco can maybe uh, take the edge off for our ladies of the town um, and we can gossip a little bit more with our little refreshments um, I also brought, um, have some delicious macaroons um, these are some beautiful familiar flavored macaroons um, I love this blue color it really reminds me of the Bridgerton family um, so yeah, I brought these in honor of the Bridgerton family This color is so adorable and they are vanilla flavor too um, I hope that the ladies of the town will appreciate these They look quite expensive in our Bridgerton colors So I think the ladies of the town will hopefully love these too there will be lots of gossip on our picnic um, and it's lovely to enjoy some time with the other ladies um, of the town living in London um, so yeah so tomorrow I'm going to take the carriage to London I also found these macaroons I love the packaging it's very Bridgerton love the little lady on the side 
Um, these are like a little bit more pink. Um, I can't really find what flavor this is, but it calls Fragola. So hopefully these are delicious. Hopefully they are as delicious as they look. That the lady of the that the ladies of the town have invited me to enjoy them for a lovely picnic. I'm sure there will be lots of gossip and lots of handsome gentlemen walking around. And maybe we can attend a ball later to meet a handsome duke or a prince. I love these little macarons, they're really pretty um, and I love these colors together, I think they look so adorable. Um, the ladies of the town also ordered a delicious cake, um, so yeah, so I will show you um, the delicious cake now that we're having on our picnic. Um, there also will be some delicious fairy cakes. Um, I also made some fairy cakes the other day. Um, these are actually some scones um, and I dipped them in some buttercream. Um, and then uh, once it's cooled, the buttercream will harden. And then I add some pretty roses for decorations. These are the most adorable little scones. And they are perfect for a little picnic or a high tea. You can never have too many macaroons. I also have these pink ones with a white filling. I just love some delicious macaroons. Um, we also have our very own Lady Whistledown newspapers. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to uh, read our new Whistledown newspaper. Uh, there is some lovely gossip. Lady Whistledown Society papers. Extraordinary people, extraordinary news. July is nearly upon us and with it a new social season here in London. Ambitious mamas can be found at dressing shops all across town with their darling deputants, eager to purchase that one special evening gown that they simply know will mean, mean the difference between marriage and spinsterhood. As for their prey, the de determined bachelors, Mr. Colin Bridgerton, once again tops the list of the desirable husbands. Even though he is not yet back from his recent trip abroad, he has no title, that is true, but he is an abundant possession of Luke's fortune and as anyone who has ever spent even a minute in London knows charm. But Mr. Bridgerton has reached a somewhat advanced age of 3 and 30 without ever showing an interest in particular young lady. And there is little reason to know on the that 1824 will be any different from 1825. In this respect, perhaps the darling deputants, and perhaps more importantly, their ambitious mamas would well to look elsewhere. If Mr. Bridgerton is looking for a wife, he hides that desire well. On the other hand, is that not just a sort of challenge a Dubaton's like best. Okay, so reading the uh, Lady Whistledown newspaper, I really have to go to London to see the ladies of the town and to maybe um, be a contender for the handsome Mr. Colin Bridgerton. I am so excited uh, to visit London for a lovely picnic and to see all the Ladies of the town. I could leave, I could read the Lady Whistledown papers all day long. And 
to see what eligible handsome husbands are out there. that I'm going to wear. Um, I think it's really pretty. Um, I hope that the gentleman in London will notice this beautiful dress um, and that I can finally find a husband um, while I'm in London for the season. Uh, starting, up, starting up with a wonderful picnic invited by the lovely ladies of the town. I'm bringing them these delicious macarons. I hope that they enjoy them. Um, I'm also bringing these colored macarons, uh, which remind me of the Bridgerton colors. So hopefully Mr. Colin Bridgerton uh, will take notice in me while seeing these adorable macarons that I brought in the same colors as his family. I love the Bridgerton colors, I love the light blues and the, and the greens. It's so pretty and so elegant and it's such a high society family. And Colin is a very eligible bachelor. And I'm sure that a lot of ladies in the town are excited to meet him at the ball in London. And I'm so excited to uh, be visiting London for the season. Also bringing some adorable napkins to our picnic with the ladies of the town. I'm sure there will be lots of gossiping of everything that happened in this season. I cannot wait to visit the ball and to meet some handsome gentlemen. I'm reading Lady Whistledown's paper. I'm really excited to meet um, Mr. Colin Bridgerton. So hopefully I will see him in London at the bar. adorable plates to our picnic. I love the gold and the little flowers. Uh, they came and come in different colors as well. Um, they come in pink, blue, yellow and green. So pretty. I'm so excited uh, to go on a wonderful picnic with the ladies in the town. I'm so excited that they've, they've invited me. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to visit London for the season um, and to uh, go to the balls and meet some um, handsome gentlemen like a duke or maybe a prince or maybe a viscount. I'm so excited and I cannot wait. Um, this is the dress that I'm wearing. I think it's really beautiful and 
um, hopefully um, Mr. Colin Bridgerton will recognize me in this gorgeous dress uh, because according the Lady Whistledown Society papers, um, he is the eligible um, gentleman of the season. the Lady Whistledown newspapers um, and I'm so um, curious who is the writer um, but she knows everything about the town uh, she knows everything about everyone she mentions everyone by name especially the high society uh, families like the Bridgertons and the Featheringtons I'm so excited to uh, go and visit London. Um, we're leaving tomorrow with our horse and carriage. So I'm so excited to visit London for the for the new season. Um, and yeah, my first. Um, my first outing is a lovely picnic with the ladies of the town um, where, I can, where I can talk and gossip um, and yeah, where I can hear all the news um, about all the families uh, living in London um, and in the evenings we are invited to the balls to meet all the um, eligible handsome gentlemen and husbands I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we're having for our little picnic. We're having some napkins. I hope the ladies of the town will love this. Um, there will be a cake, a delicious cake. Um, then I brought these adorable plates in the most beautiful pastel colors. Um, then I'm bringing some delicious macaroons. Um, I'm also bringing these macaroons, which are in the Bridgerton colors, which I love. They are so beautiful and elegant, and I love this pretty blue color. They have vanilla flavored. Um, then I have um, the ladies in the town that made this. Um, teapot cookies that I will bring for them. These are so adorable and these are specially made for the ladies in the town. Um, so yeah, I have them made for them. Um, then we're having some delicious scones and some fairy cakes. Um, the picnic is going to be um, in a beautiful garden. Uh, with some beautiful roses um, and I cannot wait to show you how beautiful everything looks um, but I'm so excited to go and visit the picnic um, and going to the ball afterwards um, thank you so much for watching um, I will let you know how uh, the picnic has been and if I find an eligible um, husband and maybe if I um, find um, the handsome Mr. Colin Bridgerton. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you very soon with some new inspiration. Thank you so much. Bye!